Hi everyone and welcome to this video. If you're new, welcome. I'm very happy to see you here. I'm full-time as a teacher. I'm a mom, have two boys and I love makeup. I have combination more oily skin and I'm almost 40 years old, actually 39 this year. I'm turning 39 this year and I love trying new makeup, trying reviewing makeup, trying uh, colorful eyeshadow makeup looks. I just am obsessed with makeup and I want my makeup to stay on for at least 12 hours because I work full time, I'm very busy during the days and I want everything to look flawless. So if you're interested to see those kind of videos then welcome. I would like you to subscribe and uh, like this video. And you all that are already subscribed, my own beauties, welcome, welcome, welcome. So we are here today to try the KVD foundation. And also I have the primer. I can't wait. So if you want to see me apply this, then please keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to wear this all day. It's actually 11.24 and I just made some, uh, and I'm cooking, making lunch and very busy today, but I do want to try this foundation and this primer. Now, in my last video, I reviewed a couple of uh, Danessa Myricks products or a couple of, a lot of Danessa Myricks products. And I do want to try this foundation. I was like, I was debating with myself if I'm going to wear this the whole day or I'm going to wear this the whole day. But let's try this. This is newer. This is more hyped up, hyped now. So let's try. Not that this Danessa Myrex is not hot. It's a very popular product, but this is more new. And I have nothing on my face, but I do want to apply the Danessa Myrex Beauty Oil. This is the Beauty Hydrating Facial Oil. I've been actually using it every day since I filmed that video and it's been almost a week. Uh, I know that video hasn't been out for a week on my channel, just a couple of days, but trust me, I filmed it longer ago. And I really love this oil. I've been using it every morning. I'm just obsessed with it. But I did want to apply everything on the, vi on the video so you can see me applying. I have some pimples here that hurt, some breakouts. My skin doesn't look the best today, but we are here. I've been applying this the whole week and I'm being obsessed with this oil. I'll be wearing it with uh, different primers, with different foundations, been working really good. So I trust this product. And while this is sinking in, I'm actually not going to go in with the Yummy Skin Glow Serum. I've been using this every day also under all of the other primers and everything, but, 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 we are going to try the primer today. So don't want anything to mix with it. This oil is more like skincare product and skincare we do need. I've been actually using this. This is the Repairing Liquid to Cream jo uh, Cream Manera Georgia Armani product. Now I broke my broke my what's called a tip here. Uh, but I've been loving this is very expensive. Really good, really good. Uh, so that's my skin. Okay, I'm going to apply this product on half of the face. This is it says minimize look, minimize the look of pores instantly over time, hydrating, blurry, makeup extending, infused with rich water plus green lentil. I don't know what that means, but it's a nice package, nothing special. I don't actually mind that. It's sealed, which is a really good sign. It's going to keep fresh. I actually have the Chanel foundation too. Mm, that one is coming too on my channel. So many foundations to try out, guys. Can't wait. Ooh, this is thick. It looks like cream. Can you see? Okay, okay. It does have like a... No, it doesn't have a scent. This oil has scent. Okay. We are going to apply it. Oh, applied a little bit too much, didn't I? Uh, definitely a little bit too much, okay? Wipe off some excess. Just on this side, left side on my face. It's really 
it's thick. It kind of reminds me the texture of the Hydra Primer from Greek Primer from make the Milk Makeup, but it's more cooling. It's not as sticky, but it has that kind of thicker texture, and I feel like it definitely. I'm looking at myself on the monitor. That's what I'm looking on this side. It feels. It feels thick when I was applying it, but right now it feels very light on the skin. It's kind of giving me the the, cool, the cooling sensation. It uh, doesn't feel thick. I can't feel it on my skin, but it does something. It actually feels like hydrated. Let's see. I know if you can see any difference. Bef if you can see any difference, I can't see any. It's, I don't feel like it's more mattifying. Right now, it's definitely it feels smoother than this side. I know this oil gives me some glow, but if you apply a more mattifying product on top, it should be more matte because when I apply the Universal Blur Balm from the Nessie Myrex on top of the oil, it actually looks more matte. So, but I, I feel like my skin feels really smooth, silky smooth, like even. It feels really nice, feels like a li little bit cooling. Love it. Love how it feels, but I don't, I don't know. Um, maybe when I edit this video, I will see any difference. Right now, I don't see any difference. But okay, I have medium 027. It, I think this is a little bit deeper than my skin tone. Skin tone actually did the try to match myself and uh, try to find the right foundation. But look how bright it looks. Um, this is considering. This is kind of weird for me. When I got this foundation and I've seen, uh, I've seen a couple of photographs. I've seen a couple of not reviews. I've seen people swatching them, but I didn't see the, the full videos. Um, I don't want to kind of get any idea of how people f feel about this foundation. I didn't want anybody to kind of put thoughts in my head. I wanted to experience myself. But I did watch a little bit of swatches when people were swatching it on their faces. And I kind of realized that they look deeper on the website than they are in real life. So I ordered medium 027. Look how deep it is on the packaging, but look in how it is when it comes in the in the bottle. It's it's beautiful packaging. This is a really beautiful, but look at the difference. Doesn't even look close, which is weird, but let's shake it. It says here, lightweight all day wear, transform resistant. We know there is no foundation that's transfer resistant. So let's just, I don't even know why people put this on the foundations. I haven't found any foundation that it's res uh, that is trans proof resistant. Let me know down below if you have any. I have no idea. I just think it's a big lie, but okay. Quick leave extract to help mattify. Okay, we like that. So let's... Uh, two small pumps. It's... A little bit liquidy. It's definitely lighter than uh, I would like it to, but we are going to work it in, uh, into the skin. I am going to go in with a sponge because we just like that. We'll see if I need to apply more product. Let's go in on this side where we don't have primer. It's Definitely matching my neck. So this is like a perfect match for my skin tone though I do prefer you can see it's really good match But I don't usually match my foundation to my neck because I'm look very pale and sick though and I don't like that feeling It's definitely lightweight. I can't even feel it on my skin guys It's medium coverage right now and let's go in on this side where we have the primer. It definitely dried a little bit fast here on this side because the primer helps absorb the foundation quicker than the skin. I only have the oil here. 
usually I always use the primer under my under my foundation. I didn't apply any primer here. Maybe I was, maybe I should have done that. I'm applying just a little bit more on this side. Usually I, I always, not usually, but I always use a primer. So maybe I should have applied my regular primer on this side, but let's try this, this way. I'm going to wear this. I'll definitely review it also in another video telling you what I think about it. Okay, this is one coat. Oh, one coat. I actually use like two small pumps, not even a full pump. So maybe one and a half pump for whole face. Definitely perfect match for my skin tone. A little bit lighter than I would like on my face because I feel like I look sick. But guys, this looks like my skin. It looks like my skin. This looks like my skin. You can still see some imperfections, my pimples, but it even more my skin a little bit. And I really like how this is looking. Should I, should I go for one more? No, we are not going to build it up. Let's not go there and make it cakey. Don't go there. I squeezed the pimple here earlier, so it's red. Yeah, yes. Let's let's go. I know. Right, usually, if I was taking this for my work, I will definitely apply a little bit more. So, for more coverage, let's just apply where we want more coverage. It's drying down really fast. So maybe this is a foundation that you should apply in sections. I haven't tried the other Apple foundations. I think the other foundations, I haven't tried the powder foundation, I haven't tried that balm foundation, um, good apple, I haven't tried it. I know they are viral, people love it. I haven't tried them because I know I won't use them. Okay, so definitely give, gave me more coverage. Not full. Is it full though? No, I can still see some discoloration so it's definitely on the fuller side like uh, more medium to full coverage uh, but I'm not going to apply more because I'm now happy how it looks it still looks like now it looks like I have foundation on but 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 it doesn't look cakey it looks really really good so we are going to go oh my nose is itching right now Okay, so far so good. We are going in with concealer and I am going to go in with this Huda Beauty concealer in shade. It's a little bit too light right now, but um, 2.1N. It's a very light concealer, but I love the coverage. And because this is more full coverage foundation, let's use this concealer. And because it's a little bit lighter, so this I think will be perfect. So the concealer is drying down really fast on top of the foundation. A little bit faster on the side with the primer, but the foundation looks the same on both sides. I feel like even the, the pores look the same. Yeah, the foundation minimized the pores, but I don't think the primer minimized the pores because they are visible, the same visibility or not visible on both sides. But I really feel like this, this uh, Concealer goes really good, goes really well with this foundation. I really like it. I really like how it looks. So we are going to set everything with some Huda Beauty powder under the eyes so it doesn't crease. Now I feel the pores are more smooth on the side where I have the primer, but it still looks the same. Still looks the same. Okay, so I'm going to go and finish the makeup look and I'll be back. I will try to put everything down below what I used and I'll be back. So this is the final look. Uh, look at this eyeshadow. Guys, this is just magic. Look at it. And it's Danessa. I actually have uh, these two shades and these two shades on my eyelids. And I also use this uh, as my eyeliner. I try to do like a small wing eyeliner. I have hooded eyes, but this is a 
my holy grail. I have this as a base, not the eyeshadow base, I actually have the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and then I went with this as my transition all over the lid, then went with the palette. On my lips I do have uh, this beauty also, it's called Nude 7 and I have uh, some mix of these shades on my lips and I have the... I know I'll maybe forget telling the product that I have on my face or so put them down below, maybe I will forget them. I have uh, this Kaya Cosmetics brow pen on my eyebrows and also the Nude Stick Gel on the eyebrows. I have uh, this as my bronzer. This is the shade Beach from Cash Beauty, the cream bronzer. And I did went with Too Faced Chocolate on top just to set it a little bit. I do have this is the new Jubilee bomb, uh, powder bomb kind of um, hybrid <laughs> blush from Danessa, Ma Danessa Marix. I think I pronounced her brand name right. I did also set my face with uh, this beautiful powder. With this powder I did set it just a little bit. This is a matte foundation. It's, if, you have a matte, if you have matte skin, I don't know if you're gonna like this foundation because it is matte. Now on this side we did set it with the primer, the new primer, and on this side we don't have any primer, anything. I just moisturize my skin with some face oil. And um, yeah, what do I have more? Do I have some? Yes, on my lips also I did top everything with this Amrezi pretty little thing. A lip gloss in shade 3 I think it's called. Yes, 3 light up. And I do have the star I think. Is it the star? Yes, I have a star Amrezi and pretty little thing liquid highlighter star as my highlighter. That's what I have on my face. I think I have everything. If I forget I'll put... Yes, I did set everything with Demi Whispers, mascara, that's what I have on my face. And so far it looks really, really good. It's not for, I don't think this foundation is good for dry skin. I have to be honest because it dries very fast. It is a um, more matte foundation. So if you like matte foundations or semi-matte foundation, this is really good for you. But if you have dry skin but really like the coverage of this foundation, like how light it is, it feels really light on the face. And I like this foundation, then I think it should be it will be good if you mix it with some moisturizer. Maybe go in with this. This is the polyglomatic acid, helps lock in moisture. I have I usually it's not so clean. I usually mix this with very dry foundations because I also now when I get more mature, my skin doesn't like like matte, concrete matte. Doesn't like it. It my pores just be more visible. I look, I age. <laughs> I look more old, old than I am. I do like more matte foundations, but I need to be more careful because I have some years on my back. But I really like. Look at my foundation. I really like how this foundation looks on my face. It just re looks really, really good. Love the packaging though. So far so good. I'm going to wear it as long as possible. Now it's 20 past 12. I think I had this foundation on around for like around 40 minutes, but I'm going to go on with my rest of my day and I'll... Uh, let you know what I think about. So don't forget, this side is the with primer, and this side doesn't have any primer. So see you soon. Hi everyone. Okay, let's remove my glasses. Let me show you the time. It's 7 p.m. and I'm been having this foundation on and the primer for a little bit more than seven hours, and I look. really really shiny more shiny right now under the lights because i have bright lights ring light in front of me um but i have to say that this foundation on it's not heavy 
and it didn't remove anywhere, not even on my chin. On this side, we had the primer. On this side, we didn't have the primer. And I'm surprised that this foundation hold, hold on my side on the face where I didn't have the primer. And I did apply a lot of primer today. Look at my eyeshadow. Here it's gone, here it's not gone. And I had exactly the same base. That's really weird. But okay. Okay, let's see. Let's just see very close. The foundation looks really good. It didn't, uh, it didn't remove anywhere, not even on my nose, not even on my chin. It's holding up. Though I do look shiny. I do look shiny. I do look shiny on both parts of the face. I feel like it's the same even with the side without the primer and the side with the primer, no difference. So this primer, it's not... I don't feel like it's porifying because the pores are exactly the same. You can see it. Maybe I will change my mind when I edit this video, but right now it looks the same. It feels the same. My face looks sh as shiny on both sides. The pores look the same on the both sides. Uh, the foundation held up on good on both sides. So I don't know how I feel about this primer. I need to try it. I will try it tomorrow. I will need to try it more with other foundation just to see how it works. But uh, it's not a bad primer. It's, it's a really good primer. I mean, it, it kept my foundation out, but it kept... <laughs> the foundation is also there without the primer so but it's not a bad primer it didn't break up the foundation it removed the foundation it doesn't look cake it doesn't look heavy so it's not a bad one but it's not a big big difference it's nothing special so uh but i'm really enjoying how the foundation really looks good on my face and the makeup hello i do look shiny i mean i'm not stupid i can see myself it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look heavy uh, my eye under eyes are dry, but my under eyes are always dry. So let's try to remove some of the oils with just a tissue. And we know it's not transfer proof. I mean, it's not transfer proof. You can see a little bit on my nose, it transferred to the paper. So this is the side with primer and there is some foundation and oils but you know what it looks like i just applied my now my foundation is gone here on this part of the nose but the rest of my face here on this side where i have primer looks like i just applied my makeup it looks really really good so i will f be comfortable with just using a towel and remove the oiliness let's do the side without the primer is it the same? Is it the same? It looks the same. No, the foundation is gone here and here. But I mean, and here. But it's not bad. It's not bad after this long. And it still looks really good. But the pores look the same on both sides. Even with and without the primer. I really enjoy this foundation. I think it's really, really good. I was scared that it's going to be heavy and feel heavy but it doesn't it doesn't feel heavy it it really hold up uh, hold on my my face pretty good and i'm um, i'm surprised that it still looks really good after just taking off some oiliness some shine and i could definitely go out like this i wouldn't be uh, not with this makeup look though this looks good but mm, no uh, i'm a little bit disappointed not with the results okay it could well, it could be worse but it's, look at my face, it's, it's the same. <laughs> it is the same. Uh, but I will, I will use it. Tell me down below what you think about this foundation. Have you tried it? Would you like to try it? What do you think uh, about my mess or oiliness and how it looks right now? Let me know down below all of that. And also if there is any foundation you want me to try out, I'm very curious. So leave your comments, keep them coming. And what else? Yes, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I hope I see my next video. I love you all. Bye.